Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome to Crowded Blue Dot. This is a town building simulation with dots for people. So we're going to start a new game. Let's do that save there. I'm going to enter my city name here. So we're going to call it Dotville. And uh, that's my seed. Uh, difficulty normal. Let's start. Okay, so we're doing tutorial number one. So this is tutorial number one. Control the camera. So we can move the camera with Wasada or by clicking the minimap in the top left of the screen. Camera zoom uh, is in and out with the mouse wheel. So there we go. We can go like that. We can go like whoa, 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 and whoa, whoa, whoa. So the next thing we need to do is build a city hall. So a city hall is constructed by clicking down here and choosing city hall. It needs to be near stuff. It needs to be these areas. So it needs to be near stone, iron, clay, forest, and fertile tile. So hopefully we are going to build near all of those. We need to find a sweet spot to build near all of these. So I'm guessing somewhere like this is pretty good. This is uh, minerals. This has got, what's it got in it? Can we hover over it and see what it is? No. Um. Let's look. So we've got water here. I've not used water yet. Whether water is used later on. Now this this looks pretty interesting. So we've got uh, minerals here. We've got more minerals here. More minerals here. Little bits of food. What's that one now? What's the mystery block? We're going to build here anyway. So this is going to be our area of influence. So we're going to try and touch on all those areas. Like so, and then we're going to build it. So look, these are all my little people. They're just chilling. So speed up and pause the game. Now you can you can do this in a number of ways. You can click the buttons like that, or you can press one, two, three, four, and space pauses it. That's what it tells you there. I've just told you. Right, no project selected. So we need to do some uh, research. So. Ooh, what can we research then? Um, what's this basic? Med medicinal herb. Uh, the effects of this are health regen plus two, lifespan plus 0 0.05. Um, I don't think we can do that till we do some of the other stuff, though, because science is something you need to sort of gradually go into. Um, so that means we... Do need to research how to do that, but not just yet. Right. Wanting to build a mine and a logging camp. So let's get that done. So we'll get a mine. Now we'll talk about the interface a bit. So up here, let me pause it. You can see I've got 10 people. I've got 10 workers. I've got zero housing and I've got 40% happiness. So we're going to try and get rid of that, make them happier. First thing we're going to do is build a mine. So for this, we need. Yes, yeah, so we're going to try and build a mine. So we need 40 trees and 15, I think it's 15 workers. But it's like the spanner symbol. It might, it'll be like an attribute up here. So we've got, you can see we've got the wood there. What is the other attribute though? It's like spanners, this thing here. So it must be something that you build. I've got 90 of, of whatever that is. So wait a minute. Why would it not let me build it? I should be able to just click it. Uh, mine must be placed near minerals. First build a mine near grey minerals. Select minerals and see what ores you get. Okay. Logging camp must be placed near a forest. Well, I should be able to uh, build both of these then. Have a little look. Maybe it's because I've got it paused. Can you not build it when you got it paused? Yeah. A bit, bit random. So, as you can see, as I move this around here, you can see the percentage of how good something is. So, you can't build on the forest, but look at that 123% in that bit. That's where we're putting that. Right click to cancel. So, we need to do a mine next. Uh, it said near the grey one. So, the grey one's the one up, all the way up there. So, I'm going to take a chance that I need all these minerals and build ones on all of them. So, Hopefully when that's built, we'll see what it is. I'll speed it up a little bit. Okay, now you should start seeing them going out and doing the work. I can click on this. I can see I have got 
10 workers at the moment. I've got... How many workers have we got on here? Zero on that one at the moment. So they should eventually start coming through them. Now, let's see. Can we see what these minerals are now? Still can't see what they are. We can uh, upgrade that, though, a bit to a big mine, which is cool. We can do that on all of them, I think. Can we upgrade the logging camp? Yes, we can make a big logging camp. Right, next we need to build a farm. Farm is similar to the other thing, is that we need to... I'll, I'll just show you the blurb because it explains it a little bit better. Farms must be, must be placed on fertile tile. The more tiles around it, the more efficient. Farms grow crops, and when all tiles are filled, they start harvesting. So it depends on the season. Uh, people eat at home or restaurants. If neither of them is available, they eat at a warehouse and do not receive an energy bonus. Uh, cooked foods. Crops can be eaten raw, but they can be used as ingredients to make cooked foods. So that's something we're going to go into. So let's get a farm up and going. Um, I think these bits, it says the, it says an, an empty area, but I think it needs to be near these sort of areas. So if we look at these. These are like 29%. So that's pretty terrible. Whereas these down here, look at these, 106, 105. 68. Uh, let's stick one there. See how we get on with that. Okay, check info pane about people and buildings. So we can select a person or building to open the info pane. Uh, this will show me the health. As, as, as it says here, it decreases when people starve or become sick. Uh, nutrition, which is constantly going to go down. People are covered by eating food. Energy is recovered by resting at home. If homeless, people can recover it by taking a, a walk and skill. The higher it is, the faster people produce resources. Nice. Now, we need to start getting people home, so we're going to try and get into that in a second. You can set a number of employees in the jobs panel at the left of the screen, which I believe is over here. You can also change it by left shift or control. control shift. So say I want less people doing wood chopping. I can click on that. And that's going to split it up. Look, so I've got five doing that and five doing mine now. You should start seeing them go do the different tasks. We'll get some mining and we'll get some doing the other stuff. Okay, now happiness. The happiness is the bar over here, I believe it was. So population growth depends on happiness. So the happier they are, the better they're going to grow. They were at 40% before, so it's stagnant growth. So if we have cooked food, research, and services, we get positive happiness. And if the homeless, jobless, large population, tragic deaths, it's going to go down. <laughs> so <laughs> they're not going to be very happy. In fact, I'm going to... I know I need this, so I'm going to get a few houses on the go because people are not going to be happy just not having anywhere to live. Now, apparently houses are good near the place of employment, so I'm going to put houses near a few of these places. And if you keep an eye on uh, this here, so look, we've got population for, we can have up to 80 people now in our homes. And you should start seeing this going up now. So we're on 30 at the moment. So we've got 15 and 20. So obviously this needs to increase. I think this is a target what we want. So we want 15. Let's just try and split it evenly. So we'll do, do 10, 10. 10. See if we can fulfill that. Come on. I want you to go start farming. Now, interestingly enough, can they farm if they are outside of the area of effect? Because if they can't, this is a terrible, terrible, terrible place to build. Why did you build here? Okay. I can't even build another farm. Oh, they are still... It says they're going to it. It says I've got at least three people working here now. We've got seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this is pretty cool. I, I like this. So if you look at this now, you should start seeing them going about the business, planting crops. Nice. Now, it wants me to build a factory. So factories take the raw resources and will make stuff. So they combine input item into a new item. Um, it wants me to build a factory. So what factory can I build at the moment then? I guess I can make like wood, 
wooden stuff, maybe. Um, oh, look at look at this! I can't build anything because I've not <laughs> I've not got the equipment to do it just yet. So, yeah, we're not doing that. Right, let's increase all these anyway. I want. Um, let's say 30, 30, can we have 30? I want, I want more woodcutters. Won't let me have more woodcutters. Right, so as you can see, workforce is going up now. Happiness is actually quite high. I guess that's because we've got enough homes. We've got 53 population and 80 homes. So we'll speed that up a little bit. Next up, warehouse. All items that are collected or produced must be stored in a warehouse. Items required for production are also taken from here. So let us try and get a warehouse. I don't know if we can build one. Let's see, can we build one yet? Where is the warehouse? Um, house, not house. We can build roads as well. Mm, wow, look at that. Warehouse, we need, we need loads. There's no way we can build that. Likewise, we can't research because we need to get the, the stuff for it. Buildings like the library and the engineering center produce resources. Okay. So library or the other thing. If we can build any of them. Yeah, it's going to be a way off. Right, build any service building. So service buildings improve not only happiness, but health. They require items to operate. So we should be able to build these once we get some of the other attributes. But we've not got any of them yet. Right, paved road. Looks like we need sand or something to build that so that's going to be something we need to go into um have i got any production things like so this factory here is smelting ore into ingots that's that's probably going to be our first thing we need to, to do so we need 150 of the ingots so let's have a little look we've got 142 at the moment we need more probably need more people more people, more people mining. 50 people mining. Yeah, let's get all these people down the mine. Now, we can only, sit, we can only fit a certain amount of people in the mine. We've reached 100, 100 population. Well done. So we can only have 17 people in the mine. Now, we've got three different mines, all of varying sizes. Now, these all get different resources in them. So we need. More of these ones at the moment, I think. Um, let me do another. Can we build another mine just yet? Let's get another little mine over here. Oh, that's interesting. It won't quite let me build another mine. So is it is it one per rock? Do you know what I think it is? See, I can put one there. Maybe they've got like a radius of effect of how near they can be to it. Let's try that. Speed that up as well. Now we do need more homes as well. We can build bigger homes now as well. We can get stone homes. But again, we need, apparently we need 50 chests of drawers. So we're going to do some more houses. Let's get a house near the farm. Let's get another house near the mine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna have to build that. Boo. Right, so I've got 60 in that, 20 in that. I've uh, I think I've run out of space to do stuff. Uh I guess I could have more people mining. Well, not mining, uh logging. Let's get some loggers. Um There, I choose you. So this is just like gradually going to build up all the base. Um, I've only got 18 stone at the moment now. Ugh. I want to get this production smelting thing on the go. This thing. I need 150. So we're going to have to stop building for a bit. Right. We should be able to reach our maximum mining now, which is 80. Let's move our wood thing up as well. So how's food coming on? So we can have a maximum of 30. I reckon we probably need more food than that. But luckily, we, well, I say luckily, we can't build another farm yet at the moment, so that'll have to wait. Now we should start seeing these uh, this stone go 
go up a lot higher now because we're, we're at nearly 80 uh, miners now. As you can see, my happiness is soaring. Yeah, we've, uh, <laughs> we've got a happiness of 53. That's not very good. Looks like we've got plenty. Look, looks like plenty are going to go mining. There we go. I think we just got a mass zerg then. Right, we need 180 of this, whatever this resource is here. Now, the, the impressive thing about this game is it's you get like a load of things on this going on, and it doesn't really seem to affect the uh, frame rate of it too much. Um, I just need to get to 180 people. That there we go. Right, we finally got a uh, little production thing going. So we're going to do a foundry now. Let's plonk that down there. And my food is really bad, so that means we are going to start starving. So we need to, <laughs> we need to get more food and rapidly. So I'm hoping this is going to solve my problems. I've got too many people. I've got 270 people and only 120 houses. This is this is bad. This this was not planned like this. Come on, work harder. Can't even upgrade this because I need up oh, up. Oh, I need loads of extras. And it looks like we can switch the resources. So the thing is, what's the best thing to to harvest? I reckon it's depending on the time of the year. So I've switched to berries. I don't know if berries are good. Doesn't give me any information about what is good. <laughs> we're switching to berries. Right. I'm hoping uh, we're going to start making metal bars soon. So we've got 15. Um, in Industries, this one is it. So where is my production? I think production should be this one. Oh, it's this one here. This is 428. Okay, so we are we are making stuff right now. We need... Whatever that one is, we need to make another farm. So we need 130 of something. It's going to be this one, a building supplier. That's what we need. So we'll do a factory and a building supplier. Because I need to get another farm on a go, otherwise we are all going to starve. We also need space for the houses. So I think it'd be, it'd be good if I could get like um, the mines running quicker. Don't know how to do that though. Right, so hopefully we should start getting building supplies now. Got a few grapes there. Right, so we've got five. Five of these things. Ah, it's terrible. Um apparently we're gonna make what are we what are we making? I think it's like coal and sand. It doesn't actually tell you what it is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we see in here what, it, what, what the stuff actually is? Oh, that's, that's the one thing I don't like. That it doesn't tell you exactly what you're making. So I've got five of that thing, and I need, what was it? 130. Come on. We, we need more than that. Let's, uh, let's get 30 people working in there. Can't fit anyone else in the mines. Get a little bit more in the production. Oh, look at my meals. My meals are so coming down. Right, this is sort of coming up. Uh, I've got no other way of making food, though. We've got that, though. Grist mill. Grinds. Um, it's not really going to help me, though. I'd like to build, like, a restaurant or a bakery. We need 140 for that. That's not going to help. Services. So you can build police stations and all sorts of stuff. Maybe I should have uh, multiple ones of these to make uh, multiple of these uh, building supplies. Maybe that would help. Let's try. I mean, we're all gonna we're gonna run out of food soon anyway because we've not really planned it that well. Come on, build that. Oh, it's got 60 in that now. How many have we got working in this one? 30. And we've got 30 in that one as well. Let's see if, is it going up? No. It's not really going up. Not going up as fast as I like. Come on, let's see. See if we can survive. 
I don't know if the population's suddenly going to start falling. 300. I don't, know, I don't know how the food's lasting. We seem to be we seem to be teetering around about 250, 280. Not making enough stuff though. Which absolutely sucks. Because I was I was hoping we were gonna uh make a lot more stuff quicker. Um so have anything else I can build to help? I mean I've got like the thing the warehouse. I don't know if maybe I need to do that. Because um, we've still not got a warehouse. Paper mill? No, I don't think it's that. Anything else I can build that's going to help? So I think I just need to figure out the chain of what to build. But anyway, enough of me struggling to actually play this. So this is a crowded blue dot. Yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments. If you did enjoy watching this and you got any tips for me, let me know below. Also, as well, if you do want to see more of it, let me know. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.